the Ziz, TJ Zizzo. He showed up here at Summit Motorsports Park for the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. Didn't quite go the way in which he wanted it, and we're going to talk to him about that right here on the CompetitionPlus.com Peak Pit Note. Well, you know when the Rust-Oleum car shows up, there's certainly no rust on it. It's a beautiful machine, and TJ Zizzo is in the house. Man, first, let's talk about this. You are a fan favorite. That has to be some sort of consolation, no matter where you go. You got your fan base. People want to see you in this hot rod out there. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. That's huge, and that's the reason we still do this, right? Um, I don't do it for financial reasons. I do it for the fans. In the immediate past, Tony Zizzo double-stepped his car. You heard Bruno talk about it. His dad talked to him, talked him off the ledge, calmed him down. Will he be able to put the pressure out? The final round from a delayed race. Here we go. Ashley's 036. TJ, you know, right now you're outside this field, didn't qualify. And that's certainly sad to see. We want you in that field. Possibly some growing pains with a brand new car. 100%. We haven't run this thing in the heat yet, so we're learning it. Um, but, you know, this sport is humbling. This sport is a challenge. If it wasn't a challenge, nobody would like doing this. Um, I wake up every morning with a challenge, and it's to try to qualify a normal. Certainly a challenge out here. When's the next time we're going to see you and attempt the challenge and get past the challenge and be in the field? Yeah, we'll go to a much more difficult facility will be Indianapolis so we'll be at the US Nationals. He's gonna be at the US Nationals and man look we're here at Norwalk go get you some ice cream. <laughs> Thank you very much I will.